even the most perfect, most spiritual, most karmic relationships have to come to an end sometimes. But because they are spiritual relationships, we often put this huge pressure on ourselves that this relationship has to work out. It's so hard to find a spiritual partner and it's so attractive when you think you have found your karmic partner or your karmic soulmate. So we try to hang on and we try to ignore the signs that tell us it's it's over and we try to make it work despite it just doesn't feel right anymore but even karmic spiritual relationships have to end sometime and this is what this video is about when to know that your spiritual relationship is over but I lost it. Hi, my name is Ritu and this channel is about karma and relationships and fixing your relationships so you can have a better life. If this is important to you, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. How do you know that your spiritual relationship is over? How do you know that things should end between you and your karmic partner or your karmic soulmate? The very first sign is that you keep having the same fight over and over again. And of course, couples fight, but I'm talking about the same specific fight happening over and over again. It's like you just can't let go of a specific topic or the same thing keeps triggering each of you and you just keep repeating the fight. You're not learning anything from each fight. You're not progressing, you're not up leveling and you're going in circles. It's like Groundhog's Day. And this is the first clear sign that it might be time that your spiritual relationship is over. The second sign is that even though you both have tried to fix things, you both have asked for help from an outside person or whatever, it just doesn't seem to be getting better. And on the flip side of this is that you don't really want to work on it. You have this inner resistance to even trying to fix this relationship, seeking counseling or talking to a parent, a friend or whatever, or just admitting to an outside person that things aren't working out. When you have this resistance within you, that's a clear sign that secretly, subconsciously, you don't even want things to get better because you're hoping, you're praying that it comes to an end so that you're finally free. The third most obvious, most important sign that you must not ignore is that you are both holding each other back in your spiritual progression. The main purpose of this relationship, of this spiritual relationship, is to help you progress spiritually as individuals. So one person should be progressing as well as the other person. So if one person is keeping on progressing and going further and the other person just isn't, then that's a sign that this relationship is no longer balanced. You're not together anymore. Another super big red flag is that the other person is actually consciously holding you back from progressing spiritually. So when the other person makes comments like, oh, you're meditating again. Oh, you praying all the time you don't have time for me anymore or hey let's go out get drunk instead of like staying in and i don't know working on ourselves whatever then this person is purposely holding you back from going inwards from exploring your spirituality and this is a sign that this relationship should not progress any further because you're going to just hold each other back this also goes the other way around maybe you're holding your partner back from having a life experience they really need to in order to fulfill their own life destiny so i'll share a quick story with you from my personal life i was once in a relationship with somebody who i absolutely had hundred thousand percent committed to and this is a big deal for me because i've had commitment issues my whole life I so in this relationship even though i was committed to him i was also committed to my spiritual path and i wanted to really progress in the spiritual path my goal was to go on this path together my goal was that we grow together as individuals and rise in our spirituality or just in our beingness and i wanted both of us to have a relationship with god to build a relationship with god whereas for him at that stage in his life it was more important to focus on his career his friends and really experience what life has to give him 
Meanwhile, I was retracting. I wanted to go within myself, wanted to shelter myself from the world. So in this case, we were both holding each other back from our life's destiny. I was holding him back from having certain experiences and he was holding me back from making progress in my spirituality, in my, in my inward journey. So it was time for us to split ways and we did and both of us really became successful in the paths that each of us needed to go in. I'll give you another quick example of a friend that I had to break up with. Friendships can also be very, very karmic. Friendships can also be friend soulmates. In this scenario, again, I was really taking certain steps in my spiritual journey that meant I was drinking less, I was speaking about certain topics more than others, I was traveling to my ashram Sri Prita Nilaya, and I was learning from a master who I'll link to below. Meanwhile, my friend was married and she was focusing on building her family. These are two very specifically separate journeys. And what happened for us is that we just couldn't understand each other anymore. And we were purposely trying to hold each other back. So she was constantly questioning me and my decisions. Oh, why are you traveling there? Oh, why did you stop doing this? Oh, why did you stop wearing that? Oh, what are you doing now with your life? Meanwhile, I was judging her uh, why did you quit your career to have kids? Why don't you have the same passions as before anymore? Why don't you love me anymore? I actually asked her this question. Uh, anyway, we were holding each other back in the small containers of each other that we knew. And this was no longer working for either of us. So we both had to consciously break up, take a break and move on, which helped us, which gave us the space to progress in our own specific journeys. I hope this video helped you. I hope sharing my story helped you. And I want to hear your story. Do you have any questions about, oh, should I or should I not leave this person? They're so good, but you know, I'm not feeling it anymore. And if you just want a second opinion, put it in the comments below. I will personally respond to you and others in the community will also respond to you. This happens on this channel all the time and you'll get advice from another real person. Thank you so much for watching please give this video a like it lets me know that it was useful and i will see you next time oh i forgot to share a really exciting news i have been trying to heal my eyesight naturally so i'm not wearing glasses here but i normally wear glasses or contact lenses and a couple of years ago, I learned about a person, Peter Grunwald, I'll link to him below, who heals eyesight naturally. And I've been on this eyesight healing journey since 2014. So a long while now. And yesterday I fi found out that my eyes have healed. I used to be minus 3.25 on this side and minus 2.75 on this side. Now, get this, I'm minus 1.75 and minus 2.25 that's amazing it's so exciting i'm so happy that this works and it's a possibility for you too to heal your eyesight naturally if that's something that you're into all right thanks for watching this last tidbit and i'll really this time see you next week